a sumptuous banquet for the Lord Mayor of London, a tradition stretching back centuries. But before the days of fridges and freezers, how did aristocratic party hosts keep their food fresh? How was fruit served out of season? How was ice cream stored? The answers lie a short distance from this house in the New Forest. Hidden away in all this undergrowth is actually a brick-lined cavern in the ground that is being used to store ice throughout the year. And even on a warm day like today, you can come to your ice house, extract some ice, um, or use it for storing the food that you used to only be able to get in seasons before, out of season. Quite a good uh, feat of engineering. This animation of a similar ice house at Bewley also reveals some hidden dangers. Dangers familiar to Oliver Crosthwaite Eyre, chair of the National Park Authority, who also grew up on this estate. It would have been built at the same time as the house, so that would be about 1790. We would go and have a look at it, but we were warned that it was very deep, and if you fell in, you would never get out again, so steer clear. And that's something I've told my own children. So, heeding those warnings, it's time to take a closer look. Uh, so when we start letting some kind of some light into it, we'll probably actually just see how kind of large this yeah. this kind of uh, ice house is. Well, that's revealing a very deep, dark cavern down there, James. So it's still in kind of quite structurally sound condition, yeah. over a couple of metres deep. Yeah. They have made use of the the landscape. It's built into the side of a kind of rolling hill. You don't want it too close to the house, and then so far away from your fresh water supply. But ice didn't just come from local rivers, it was also imported. It's thought ships laden with locally produced salt would leave Lymington bound for the fish packing industry of Scandinavia. They'd return laden with ice for the ice houses. There probably would have been kind of food in baskets um, laid on top of the ice. As you get a bit lower, you probably would have had uh, some kind of unfortunate person being lowered on a rope into very cold uh, conditions. To pick um, up the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> It's this hidden history that the National Park Authority wants to bring to a wider audience. They've bid for four and a half million pounds of lottery funding towards 20 heritage projects, including the potential restoration of ice houses. Until that funding is confirmed, the champagne's on ice, but we uh, could always have a cup of tea. They'll find out in September if the bid's been successful. David Allard, BBC South Today, Bramshaw.